take the trip of your choice around the world jet journey in just a few hops. But start this particular journey at the end, at Nairobi Airport in Kenya, as it's now called. You're a tourist, turning your back on Africa's hugest mountains, on equatorial forests, bushland, and sweeping Indian Ocean shorelines. And if you like, on coffee, beans, and coconuts, because as you pull away, they're already fading memories. What do you remember when a holiday you once dreamed about begins to float away below the clouds? A whole country becomes a kaleidoscope of memories in a matter of minutes. Memories are souvenirs aboard an air-conditioned safari in the sky. And souvenirs mean you can't and won't forget, even though it's almost as if they wanted you to forget. In eight hours, you'll be back in London. So what do you remember on a flight like this? A safari in the sky is just the untroubled progress of a VC-10. Part of a package tour that's brought you face to face with the real Africa, full of sights and sounds that the face of an elephant will never let you forget. Safari, this is no flight of fancy. You're in the biggest zoo in the world, but there are no cages, no bars, no chalk ice wrappers. Here you go as close as you like, or as you dare. In Kenya, wildlife preservation is a crusade and an industry like tourism itself. Conservation of the species is a serious business, but it's there for you to enjoy at Savo, the world's largest game reserve. You enjoy it safari style in an hotel under canvas, the White Hunter Wave. But the only thing you shoot on this trip is film for your souvenirs. The country here is astounding. You could almost forget the flamingos. Almost. You're on a latter-day trek, a search for the authentic African wildlife in the raw. There's no question of your going on foot armed with a billy can and a bag full of biltong. You've got a safari organization behind you that's determined to make a holiday dream out of what was once a dangerous, even desperate adventure into the bush. It looks so easy being such a lazy king of the beasts, but even in a national park there's a fight for existence which many animals cannot survive. Water holes may dry up, poachers may strike, or it may be the natural predatory business of lion eat lamb. But some young animals are lucky. They end up in an orphanage and freely rub shoulders with their natural enemies. Life is preserved, but some still kill for sport. It's an expensive hobby, and pirates are severely punished. But if you feel you must kill elephants, you can, whether it's for fun or for ivory, outside the reservations. Ivory is still an important product in Kenya, but at Tsavo, it's the subject of scientific study, too. Ivory tells the experts a lot about elephants. Evolution and environment examined in a veritable graveyard. The habits of live animals can often be deduced from the bones of the dead. Peter Jenkins, assistant warden of Tsavo, gets to grips with a rhino's dental development. He's also piloting a new idea in animal observation from the air.
The game wardens hope this bird's eye view of the movement and migration down below will help explain the habits of the herds. It certainly tells the tourist where to capture his cinematic souvenirs. If animals are taken seriously by aerial observers, they're a living for East Africa's craftsmen too. Here's how those other souvenirs are carved in a village built on an ever-growing mound of wood chippings. What could be more simple and natural than literally carving your culture out of the countryside? Souvenirs for those who easily forget. A big export business, like many of the other country curios hereabouts. The fierce sun that can dry up the precious life-giving water holes also works wonders as nature's oven. Drying fish in the open air brings the tang of the sea to Kenya's sweltering highlands. Inland, the safari track may be rough and ready, and you may be surprised by some of the trips you're obliged to take in your rendezvous with the real Africa. Well, this is the real Africa too, and it's the only way to ford the river in these parts. The safari track may be rough, but on a holiday like this, it also leads to the coast, where the sea is very smooth, and you're a world away from wildebeest. A place in the sun, lazy, effortless if you like. But even on safari, there's an easy way to avoid that bumpy ride across the bush. And you can still see animals as they are, at the game lodges. Deck chairs replace the Land Rover, and you watch the water hole from a shady veranda. And out there, you're probably as close as you'll ever get to the real Africa. If you think you need a souvenir to jog your memory of this wild, majestic scene, just close your eyes and try to forget. <laughs> <laughs>